Hi, this is Zach Muir, editor of Spreadback Magazine, with a look at some bulletin board hero stocks on Friday, the 19th of December. I'm starting off with Frontera Resources, where it looks as though we've got a bull flag breakout through the 200 day moving average, currently at uh, 0.76 pence, and the initial December resistance is 0.79 pence. Uh, this comes in the wake of a bear trap from below. 0.6 pence. So uh, basically, uh, all the uh, the near term uh, sort of technicals are looking uh, bright. Uh, bullish divergence earlier earlier this month with the uh, lower second lower low for the shares as well. So all that you're probably looking for now is to see decent end of day close above the 50 day moving average, just above current levels, uh, to take the shares back to the main one pence resistance zone, which is uh, from the second half of October. Obviously, after that. Uh, we could head back towards the best levels of the year. Next up is Roxy Petroleum, which uh, was a favourite of mine uh, last year and going into the first half of this year. Obviously, we've had the uh, uh, the pullback from the September peak of 25 pence, uh, which was a technical target uh, uh, going into the summer. Uh, so that did work out. But uh, the pullback, uh, obviously rather uh, severe with the oil price and other factors. Uh, the current position is it looks as though we've got a, a bull flag actually at the bottom of this uh, trend channel from July. Uh, there's been a rebound off the 10-day moving average as well, 7.75 pence. And really, while we're above that, we're in recovery mode, especially after this uh, little uh, rebound and then setback that we had off the 20-day moving average uh, uh, earlier in the week. Uh, the view is that you use the 10-day moving average as the end of day close stop loss uh, in the hope that the shares would fill the gap uh, from the beginning of the month, uh, the top of the gap, uh, up to 12 pence over the next couple of weeks after that obviously we could be back in business in terms of a recovery here for roxy petroleum uh, finally got union jack oil which has obviously been uh, hit hard as well given the uh, uh, type line of business it's in uh, really the idea here is that uh, the shares weren't going to break uh, significantly below the 200 day moving average um, currently at uh, 0 0.28 pence uh, but unfortunately, that theory fell flat uh, in uh, at the end of August. Of, sorry, the end of October, and we've seen a progressive uh, decline since then. But it does look as though we've got this uh, falling wedge formation, uh, descending triangle, which has been broken at the 10-day moving average of 0 0.17 pence. Uh, there's also a double uh, bear trap rebound from below this 0 0.16 uh, floor in uh, October. So that is a positive there. And while we're above 1, 0 0.16. We've got a, a potential bargain hunting opportunity to take the shares back to the main uh, 0 0.25 resistance of the past uh, couple of months. Obviously, after that, we can then decide whether we think that the shares are fully rehabilitated or not. That's it for me. More updates at spreadbetmagazine.com.